Have you ever wondered if you could make your dreams come true just by thinking about them? Well, you're not alone. Many people have asked this question and the answer might surprise you. Visualization, a simple yet powerful tool, can actually help you turn your dreams into reality. It's not magic or some secret trick. It's a skill that anyone can learn and use to change their life. Now you might be thinking, that sounds too good to be true. But here's the thing, visualization is more than just daydreaming or wishful thinking. It's a way to train your mind and prepare yourself for success. Think about it like this. Before you can achieve something in the real world, you need to be able to see it clearly in your mind. That's what visualization is all about. But why is this so important? Well, imagine you want to become a great basketball player. You wouldn't just show up on the court without any practice, would you? You'd spend time learning the rules, practicing your shots, and imagining yourself making those game-winning baskets. Visualization works the same way for any goal you have in life. It helps you practice in your mind before you do it for real. Here's something to think about. What if you never learned how to visualize properly? You might be missing out on reaching your full potential. Many successful people, from athletes to business leaders, use visualization to help them achieve their goals. Without this skill, you might find it harder to stay motivated, overcome obstacles, or even know what you really want in life. But don't worry if you've never tried visualization before. The good news is that anyone can learn how to do it. It doesn't matter how old you are, what you do for a living, or where you come from. Visualization is a skill that's open to everyone. And with a little practice, you can start using it to improve your life. Think about it this way. Your mind is like a powerful computer, but sometimes it needs the right software to work at its best. Visualization is like installing a new program that helps your mind focus on what you want to achieve. Without it, you might be running an outdated system that's holding you back from reaching your dreams. So what exactly is visualization? In simple terms, it's the act of creating a clear mental picture of something you want to happen or achieve. It's like watching a movie in your mind, but you're the director, the star, and the audience all at once. Let's try a quick example to help you understand. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine biting into a juicy yellow lemon. Picture it clearly in your mind. See the bright color. Feel the bumpy texture of the skin and imagine the sour taste as you take a bite. Did you notice that your mouth started to water a little bit? That's the power of visualization at work. Your brain reacted to that imaginary lemon almost as if it were real. This simple exercise shows how visualization can create real responses in your body and mind. Now imagine applying that same power to your goals and dreams. When you visualize achieving something you want, your brain starts to believe it's possible. And that belief can drive you to take action in the real world. Visualization isn't just about seeing things in your mind, though. It involves all your senses. When you visualize effectively, you're not just seeing your goal. You're hearing, feeling, smelling, and even tasting it. The more real you can make it in your mind, the more powerful the effect will be. For example, if your goal is to become a successful public speaker, you wouldn't just picture yourself standing on a stage. You'd imagine the feeling of confidence as you walk up to the microphone, hear the sound of the audience applauding, feel the spotlight warming your face, and even smell the subtle scent of the flowers 
decorating the stage. The more details you can add, the more real it becomes in your mind. But visualization isn't just about imagining pleasant things. It's a tool you can use to prepare for challenges and overcome fears, too. Athletes often use visualization to prepare for big competitions. They imagine themselves performing at their best, but they also visualize how they'll handle setbacks or tough moments. This mental preparation helps them stay calm and focused when the real event comes. You can use visualization in the same way for any challenge in your life. Whether you're preparing for a job interview, getting ready to have a difficult conversation, or working towards a long-term goal, visualization can help you feel more prepared and confident. It's important to understand that visualization isn't about escaping reality or living in a fantasy world. Instead, it's a way to prepare your mind and body for the actions you need to take in the real world. When you visualize, you're essentially giving your brain a roadmap to follow. You're showing it what success looks like, feels like, and sounds like. This makes it easier for your brain to recognize opportunities and guide your actions towards your goals. Think of visualization as a form of mental rehearsal. Just like an actor rehearses their lines before a performance, you're rehearsing your success before it happens. This doesn't mean that everything will magically fall into place just because you visualized it. You still need to take action and put in the work. But visualization can make that work feel more natural and achievable. Another key aspect of visualization is its ability to help you stay focused and motivated. When you have a clear, vivid picture of what you want to achieve, it's easier to stay on track. On days when you feel discouraged or face setbacks, you can return to your visualization to remind yourself why you started and where you're headed. Visualization can also help you discover what you truly want in life. Sometimes we think we want something, but when we try to visualize it, we realize it doesn't feel right. This can be a powerful way to clarify your goals and ensure you're working towards something that truly matters to you. As you practice visualization, you might find that your goals evolve or become clearer. This is normal and actually very helpful. The more you visualize, the more details you'll add to your mental picture, and the more real your goal will become to you. This can help you identify specific steps you need to take or skills you need to develop to achieve your goal. It's also worth noting that visualization isn't just for big, life-changing goals. You can use it for smaller, everyday tasks, too. Need to give a presentation at work? Visualize yourself speaking confidently and engaging your audience. Want to improve your cooking skills? Visualize yourself creating delicious meals with ease. The possibilities are endless. Remember, visualization is a skill, and like any skill, it takes practice to improve. Don't worry if your mental images aren't crystal clear at first, or if you find your mind wandering. This is normal. With regular practice, you'll find it easier to create and hold detailed visualizations in your mind. As you start to explore visualization, you might wonder how often you should practice. While there's no one-size-fits-all answer, many people find it helpful to set aside time each day for visualization. This could be first thing in the morning, to set a positive tone for the day, or in the evening, to reflect on your progress, and reinforce your goals. Some people even like to do quick visualizations throughout the day, especially before important tasks or events. The key is to make visualization a regular part of your routine. Just like you might exercise to keep your body healthy, 
Consider visualization as exercise for your mind. The more you do it, the stronger your visualization skills will become and the more benefits you'll see in your life. It's also important to approach visualization with a positive attitude. Focus on what you want to achieve, not on what you want to avoid. For example, if you're trying to overcome a fear of public speaking, don't visualize yourself stumbling over your words or forgetting what to say. Instead, picture yourself speaking confidently, engaging your audience, and feeling proud of your performance. As you practice visualization, you might find that it becomes easier to stay positive and optimistic in your daily life. This is because you're training your mind to focus on possibilities and solutions rather than problems and limitations. This shift in mindset can have a profound effect on your overall happiness and success. One of the great things about visualization is that it's a completely personal practice. There's no right or wrong way to do it as long as it feels meaningful and effective for you. Some people like to visualize with their eyes closed in a quiet room, while others prefer to create vision boards with pictures and words that represent their goals. Some find it helpful to write down their visualizations in detail, while others prefer to keep it all in their mind. Feel free to experiment and find what works best for you. Remember, the goal of visualization isn't to escape reality or avoid taking action. Instead, it's a powerful tool to help you clarify your goals, boost your confidence, and motivate yourself to take the necessary steps towards your dreams. By combining visualization with consistent effort and action, you can create remarkable changes in your life. As you continue to explore and practice visualization, you'll likely discover its effects reaching into various aspects of your life. You might find yourself becoming more creative as visualization exercises your imagination. You could become better at problem solving as you learn to mentally explore different scenarios and outcomes. Your communication skills might improve as you become more adept at creating clear mental images and expressing them to others. Visualization can also have a positive impact on your emotional well-being. By regularly visualizing positive outcomes and experiences, you're essentially training your brain to focus on the good things in life. This can help reduce stress and anxiety, boost your mood, and increase your overall sense of well-being. It's important to note that visualization isn't about denying reality or ignoring problems. Instead, it's about empowering yourself to face challenges with a positive, solution-oriented mindset. When you encounter obstacles, and you will, because that's a normal part of any journey, visualization can help you stay calm and focused. You can use it to imagine yourself successfully overcoming these challenges, which can give you the confidence and clarity you need to do so in real life. As you get more comfortable with visualization, you might want to explore different techniques to enhance your practice. For example, some people find it helpful to use guided visualizations where someone else, either in person or through a recording, leads them through a visualization exercise. Others like to incorporate physical movement, such as yoga or tai chi, into their visualization practice. You might also want to try combining visualization with affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself, like, I am confident and capable. When you pair these statements with vivid mental images, you can create a powerful tool for personal growth and change. Another interesting aspect of visualization is its potential to help you discover hidden talents or interests. 
As you visualize yourself in different situations or roles, you might uncover passions or abilities you never knew you had. This can lead to exciting new directions in your life and career. It's also worth mentioning that visualization can be a valuable tool for improving your relationships. By visualizing positive interactions and outcomes with others, you can approach your relationships with more positivity and openness. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or conflicts, but rather approaching them with a constructive, solution-focused mindset. As you continue your visualization journey, remember to be patient with yourself. Like any skill, it takes time and practice to master. Some days, your visualizations might be crystal clear and deeply emotional. Other days, you might struggle to focus or create clear images. This is all part of the process. The key is to keep practicing consistently without judging yourself or getting discouraged. It's also important to stay flexible and open-minded as you visualize. While it's great to have a clear goal in mind, be open to the possibility that your path to achieving it might look different than you initially imagined. Sometimes the universe has even better plans for us than we can envision for ourselves. Remember, visualization is a powerful tool, but it's not a magic wand. It works best when combined with action, perseverance, and a willingness to learn and grow. As you practice visualization and work towards your goals, you'll likely encounter setbacks and challenges. This is normal and even beneficial, as these experiences provide opportunities for growth and learning. Have you ever noticed how thinking about something can make it feel almost real? That's because your mind doesn't always know the difference between what's actually happening and what you're vividly imagining. This is the key to understanding how visualization works. When you visualize something clearly, your brain reacts in many ways as if it were really happening. It's like watching a movie, but instead of just seeing it on a screen, your whole body gets involved. Your heart might beat faster, your muscles might tense up, or you might feel emotions just like you would in a real situation. This is why athletes often use visualization to prepare for competitions. A basketball player might imagine sinking the perfect shot over and over again. As they do this, their brain is actually creating and strengthening the neural pathways needed to perform that action in real life. It's like mental practice that can improve physical performance. But visualization isn't just for sports. It works for all kinds of goals and situations. If you're nervous about a job interview, visualizing yourself answering questions confidently can help you feel more prepared and less anxious when the real interview comes. If you're working towards a big goal like starting a business, regular visualization can help you stay motivated and focused on what you want to achieve. The power of visualization comes from its ability to engage your whole brain. When you create a vivid mental image, you're not just using the parts of your brain responsible for sight. You're also activating areas involved in memory, emotion, and even physical movement. This full brain engagement helps make your visualizations more powerful and effective. It's important to understand that visualization isn't about fooling yourself or pretending that things are different than they are. Instead, it's about preparing your mind and body for what you want to achieve. When you visualize, you're essentially giving your brain a roadmap to follow. You're showing it what success looks like, feels like, and even sounds like. This makes it easier for your brain to recognize opportunities and guide your actions towards your goals. 
Now that we understand how visualization works, let's talk about a crucial part of making it effective. Feeling. When you visualize, it's not enough to just see a mental picture. To really make visualization powerful, you need to feel as if you've already achieved your goal. Imagine you're visualizing yourself giving a successful presentation at work. Don't just see yourself standing at the front of the room. Feel the confidence flowing through you. Hear the sound of your voice, strong and clear. Notice the interested looks on your colleagues' faces. Feel the satisfaction of knowing you're doing a great job. The more real you can make it feel, the more effective your visualization will be. Why is feeling so important? Because emotions are like fuel for your brain. When you combine a clear mental image with strong, positive emotions, you create a powerful message that your brain takes seriously. It's like telling your brain, this is important, pay attention to this. These feelings also help motivate you to take action in the real world. When you have felt the excitement and satisfaction of achieving your goal in your mind, you'll be more motivated to do the work needed to make it happen in reality. It's like giving yourself a taste of success that makes you hungry for more. But it's not just about positive feelings. Sometimes, visualization involves working through difficult emotions too. If you're visualizing yourself overcoming a challenge, it's okay to acknowledge feelings of nervousness or uncertainty. The key is to then imagine yourself moving through those feelings to reach your goal. This can help you build emotional resilience and prepare for real life challenges. Remember, the goal isn't to pretend that everything is perfect or that you never have negative feelings. Instead, it's about creating a full, rich, mental experience that prepares you for success in the real world. By including genuine emotions in your visualizations, you're making them more realistic and more effective. Now that we understand the importance of visualization and the role of emotions, let's break down the process into simple steps. This guide will help you start your own visualization practice. Find a quiet place. Start by finding a comfortable, quiet spot where you won't be disturbed. This could be a cozy corner in your home, a peaceful spot in nature, or anywhere you feel relaxed and at ease. Close your eyes and relax. Take a few deep breaths to calm your mind and body. You might want to do a quick body scan relaxing each part of your body from your toes up to your head. Picture your goal clearly. Now, start to create a mental image of what you want to achieve. Make it as clear and detailed as possible. If your goal is to own a house, for example, imagine what it looks like. What color is it? How many rooms does it have? What does the garden look like? Add details to make it vivid don't stop at just the visual details. Engage all your senses. If you're visualizing your dream house, what does it smell like? Maybe there's fresh bread baking in the kitchen. What sounds can you hear? Perhaps birds chirping in the garden or the laughter of family members. Feel the emotions of achieving your goal. This is where you bring in the power of feeling. Imagine how you'd feel if you were standing in that house right now, knowing it's yours. Feel the pride, the joy, the sense of accomplishment. Let these positive emotions fill your body. Make it interactive. Don't just see yourself as if you're watching a movie. Imagine yourself moving around in this visualization. In our house example, imagine yourself walking through the rooms, touching the walls, sitting in your favorite chair. Practice regularly. Visualization is most effective when it's done regularly. Try to practice every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. Consistency is key. Be patient and persistent. Remember, 
Visualization is a skill that improves with practice. Don't worry if your mental images aren't crystal clear at first. Keep practicing and you'll find it gets easier and more vivid over time. Align your actions. After your visualization session, think about one small action you can take today to move towards your goal. Visualization is powerful, but it works best when combined with real-world action. Stay flexible. While it's good to have a clear goal, be open to the possibility that the path to achieving it might look different than you initially imagined. Use your visualizations as a guide, but stay open to unexpected opportunities. Remember, there's no one right way to visualize. Feel free to adjust this process to fit what works best for you. Some people like to write down their visualizations after they do them. Others find it helpful to create a vision board with pictures representing their goals. Experiment and find what feels most effective and enjoyable for you. The key is to make visualization a regular part of your routine. Just like you might exercise to keep your body healthy, think of visualization as exercise for your mind and your dreams. With consistent practice, you'll likely start to notice positive changes in your thoughts, your actions, and ultimately, your life. As you begin your visualization journey, it's important to be aware of some common pitfalls that people often encounter. By knowing these mistakes, you can avoid them and make your visualization practice more effective. One of the biggest mistakes is not being specific enough. Vague goals lead to vague results. Instead of just visualizing success, think about what success looks like for you specifically. Is it a certain job title? A specific amount of money in your bank account? A particular achievement? The more detailed you can be, the better. Another common error is focusing on the negative. It's natural to think about what you don't want, but this can actually work against you. If you're constantly visualizing yourself failing or things going wrong, you're training your brain to expect those outcomes. Instead, focus on what you do want. Visualize the positive outcome you're aiming for. Many people also make the mistake of not making their visualizations vivid enough. Remember, the power of visualization comes from engaging all your senses and emotions. Don't just see a mental picture. Make it a full sensory experience. What do you hear, smell, feel? The more real you can make it, the more powerful it will be. Some folks give up too quickly if they don't see immediate results. Visualization is a skill that takes time to develop and the results often come gradually. Don't expect overnight miracles. Instead, trust the process and keep practicing consistently. Lastly, a big mistake is not aligning your actions with your visualizations. Visualization is a powerful tool, but it's not magic. You still need to take real-world steps towards your goals. Use your visualizations as motivation and guidance for your actions, not as a replacement for them. Now that we've covered what not to do, let's talk about some tips to make your visualization practice as effective as possible. First, try to practice at the same time each day. This helps make visualization a habit, which is key to seeing long-term results. Many people find it helpful to visualize first thing in the morning to set a positive tone for the day or just before bed to program their subconscious mind overnight. Use all your senses. The more senses you engage, the more real your visualization will feel to your brain. Don't just see your goal. Hear it, feel it, smell it, even taste it if applicable. Be consistent, but flexible. While it's important to have a clear goal, 
be open to the possibility that the path to achieving it might look different than you initially imagined. Use your visualizations as a guide, but stay open to unexpected opportunities. Combine visualization with affirmations. Positive statements that reinforce your goal can make your visualizations even more powerful. For example, if you're visualizing career success, you might repeat to yourself, I am confident and capable in my work. Make it emotionally engaging. Feel the joy, excitement, and satisfaction of achieving your goal. These positive emotions help motivate you and make the visualization more impactful. Start small. If you're new to visualization, begin with short sessions and work your way up. Even five minutes a day can make a difference. Use visual aids. Some people find it helpful to create a vision board with images and words that represent their goals. This can serve as a physical reminder of what you're visualizing. Practice visualization before important events. Got a big presentation coming up? Spend some time visualizing it going perfectly. This mental rehearsal can boost your confidence and performance. Be patient with yourself. Like any skill, visualization takes practice. Don't get discouraged if you find it challenging at first. Keep at it and you'll improve over time. To truly understand the power of visualization, it can be helpful to look at real life examples of people who have used this technique to achieve their goals. Take Sarah, for instance. Sarah was a shy college student who dreamed of becoming a confident public speaker. She started visualizing herself giving speeches to large audiences, imagining every detail from the sound of her voice to the applause of the crowd. At first, it felt strange and unrealistic, but Sarah kept at it, practicing her visualization every day for months. Gradually, she noticed changes. She felt more confident raising her hand in class. She volunteered to give presentations in group projects. Eventually, she joined the college debate team, something she never would have considered before. By the time she graduated, Sarah was known as one of the most articulate and confident speakers in her class. She credits her success to the power of consistent visualization combined with taking small, brave steps towards her goal. Then there's Michael, a middle-aged man who had always dreamed of running a marathon but felt it was beyond his capabilities. He started by visualizing himself crossing the finish line, feeling the satisfaction and pride of accomplishment. He imagined the feeling of his feet hitting the pavement the sound of cheering spectators, even the taste of victory champagne at the end. Michael combined these vivid visualizations with a gradual training program. On days when he felt too tired or discouraged to train, he would return to his visualizations for motivation. It took time and effort, but two years later, Michael completed his first marathon. He says that visualization not only helped him achieve his goal, but also made the journey more enjoyable and meaningful. These stories show that visualization isn't about instant magical results. It's a tool that, when combined with consistent effort and action, can help you overcome obstacles, stay motivated, and achieve things you might once have thought impossible. As we wrap up our exploration of visualization, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you achieve your goals, boost your confidence, and transform your life. It's not about escaping reality, but about preparing your mind and body for success. We've learned that effective visualization involves more than just seeing mental pictures. It's about creating a full sensory experience, engaging your emotions, 
and making your visualizations as vivid and detailed as possible. We've also discovered the importance of consistency, patience, and aligning your actions with your visualizations. Remember, visualization is a skill that improves with practice. Don't be discouraged if you find it challenging at first. Like any new habit, it takes time to develop. Be patient with yourself and keep at it. Even a few minutes of visualization each day can make a significant difference over time. As you continue your visualization journey, stay open to the possibilities. Your path to success might not look exactly like you imagined, but trust that your visualizations are guiding you in the right direction. Be flexible, stay positive, and keep taking action towards your goals. Visualization has the power to change how you see yourself and the world around you. It can help you overcome fears, build confidence, and achieve things you once thought were impossible. So why not give it a try? Start small, be consistent, and watch as the power of your mind begins to shape your reality. Remember, you have the power to create the life you want. Your mind is an incredibly powerful tool, and visualization is one of the best ways to harness that power. So close your eyes, take a deep breath, and start visualizing your best life. Your future self will thank you for it. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of visualization. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to start your own visualization practice. Here's to your success, your dreams, and the amazing future you're going to create.